Welcome to Jackie's Craft Table. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. In this card video, I am creating envelope art. These are some envelopes I picked up at my local craft store, always remembering to use the 40% off coupon and it makes them really nice and cheap. And I'm playing with a few older stamp sets from my stash. This one's called Oh Happy Day. And I love the little sentiments on it because they'd be perfect for envelope art. And the one on the right from MFT is called Sending a Smile. And I'm going to start with this one first. These envelopes are going to be super easy to create, but a lot of fun. I'm using my Fisker stamp press just so I can stamp them all out at once. Makes it very simple. I'm going to ink them up with my Extreme Black ink from MFT. And because I'm not using my stamp positioner, I'm making sure to put down a lot of ink. That way it will turn out perfect the first time I stamp it. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll see. Some of you probably are thinking, why decorate the envelope? Isn't the card that we create for our friends and family enough? And yes, it definitely is. But I think that envelope art just takes it over the top. It's really going to wow your recipient. And probably the mail carrier too. <laughs> for both of these envelopes, I'm going to be coloring in my stamped images with some Faber-Castell colored pencils. I really love my Prismacolor pencils, but I think that the Faber-Castell colored pencils don't obscure your lines as much. They're not waxy like the Prismacolor pencils. I'm stamping these out one at a time because I'm just going to be using these two flower stamps. I'm going to mask them so that I can stamp the leaves so that they appear behind the flowers. The leaves in this set are solid stamps, so I'm going to stamp them out with some white pigment ink, and then I can just color right over them with my colored pencils. You won't see any of the white once I'm done with all of my coloring. The stamping on this card did take a little bit longer because I used masks. My pink envelope went a lot faster just because I stamped them all down in one press of the Fisker stamp press. I'm going to clean off these stamps with a baby wipe. And I might have to take them to the sink too because that pigment ink just gets in all of the nooks and crannies. I'm using Kirkland baby wipes now. I was over at my friend's house and we were creating cards and she happened to have those on hand for her little baby. And I realized that they do work a lot better than the Walmart baby wipes that I was using prior to that. So I am a convert to the Kirkland <laughs> baby wipes. They are really nice. Now, when you start coloring in your card, make sure you put a card panel or a card stock inside the envelope so you don't get lines like I did on that first flower. And now it's just time for some mindless and fun colored pencil coloring. I'm not thinking too much about the colors. I'm just grabbing what's next to me in my little tin box. I sped this up super fast for the sake of time. I am going to use the coordinating dies that I have for this set. And this is a piece of masking paper. I'm just going to cut out all of the images that I used. And I'm going to cover up all of the coloring that I've done. I'm going to blend on some Distress Oxide. So I'm trying to put these masks over my images evenly. You can see the black lines of the ink through this thin paper of the mask. I'm blending on some worn lipstick distress oxides. The masks will create a little bit of a halo effect around these images, but I think it looks really cute. I'm not applying too much ink. I just wanted to put a little bit of a background behind these flowers. Now I can peel up my masks. I'm using my reverse tweezers to help me peel up the edge of those. And I'm gonna set that aside to dry. For my second envelope, I'm going to do more coloring. I'm starting out with the leaves, and I'm just coloring right over the pigment ink, and it hides all the white really well. I'm going to be doing some ink blending on this envelope as well. One thing I should mention, you can purchase a micro glaze to cover up the Distress Oxide blending that you do on your envelopes. This will just protect it from any moisture it might run into, rain, or if you're sending it somewhere 
rainy. <laughs> It'll just protect your envelope. You can buy it on Amazon. It's from Tim Holtz. I'm not going to be putting them on these envelopes because of the season we're in. Nice, dry, hot weather we're having around here. For this background, I'm using squeezed lemonade. And I think it just brightens up the envelope a little bit. It's really cute. And now I can peel off the masks and see how that turned out. I'm going back in with my green colored pencil again because I didn't protect these leaves from the squeezed lemonade distress oxide. So I just want to brighten those up. I'm going to add a few highlights with a gel pen. These little touches like this add a lot to the card. And then I decide to add some little dots around my flowers. And I think this looks really cute. And I'm going to do the same with my first envelope. This adds a little brightness to it. I just love it. Once those are dry, I'm going to stamp my sentiment onto the back of the envelope. For this card, I'm going to stamp out the sentiment that says, Sending a smile your way. I thought that was just perfect to put on an envelope. And I'm using my stamp positioner just so I don't mess up this envelope after all of this work. For this envelope, I'm stamping the sentiment that says sending sunshine. I thought that was a perfect sentiment to go along with these flowers. I did go ahead and create uh, two coordinating cards for these envelopes. I didn't show them on this video because they are just very simple cards but I wanted something to match them. So here's my first envelope and the card that I created. And I just popped these flowers up with some foam tape and I used the same colored pencils to color in these images. And then that's just gonna be fun to send to somebody. Just make their day, I think. Very pretty. One of my sisters sends me cards, and it's always fun to receive them in the mail because she does decorate the envelopes, and I, I just love that. I think it's so fun. Here's my second card, and it was just very simple. I stamped and masked like I did on the envelope and did a little bit of Distress Oxide blending around the flowers. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll give this a try. Go make some fun envelopes to send to someone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.